what really sets apart an honors degree from a master's degree or what makes a phd so distinct and challenging is it about spending more years at university or is there more to this in this video i am going to break down the real differences between an honors a master's and a phd whether you are a student planning your academic future or just a curious mind about the world of higher education, you are in the right place. My name is Lerato Kanomsa of All Things Academia, where we explore and explain all things in the academic world. If you are wondering which level in academia you should strive for and what is expected at each level, then this video is for you. The differences between an honors degree and a master's degree and a PhD are based on the level of study, the depth of research, and the nature of coursework and versus involvement. Here is the breakdown of each. Let's start with the level of study. An honors degree is typically the first level of the postgraduate degree, which is an additional year of study beyond the standard bachelor's degree. In most systems, the honors year involves more specialized and intense study in a particular field. A master's degree is a postgraduate level program that follows the completion of a bachelor's degree honors. Typically, it takes one to two years to complete. A PhD is the highest level of academic degree focused on original research. This takes three to seven years to complete depending on the field and nature of the research. The nature of coursework and thesis involvement is distinct in each level. An honors degree usually includes a combination of coursework and research projects or thesis. The coursework in an honors program is often more advanced and specialized compared to that of a standard or regular bachelor's degree. Its aim is to provide a higher level of expertise in a specific field and prepare the student for either professional practice or further academic research studies. A master's degree can be coursework-based or research-based or a combination of both. Coursework-based master's program focuses more on advanced study and practice in a particular field, while research-based program involved a significant research project or thesis. The goal of a master's is to gain advanced knowledge and skills for a specific field and to prepare students for a professional career or doctrinal studies. Now, Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, involves conducting original research that contributes new knowledge or understanding to a field of study. The centerpiece of a PhD program is the doctrinal dissertation, a substantial work of original research. The aim of a PhD is to train individuals to conduct independent, comprehensive, and highly specialized research it prepares individuals for careers in academia, research, and high-level expert position in various fields. Now, before I go into the differences in research depth for all three, I just want to take this time and give you the opportunity to contribute to us this channel by clicking the subscribe button below. This is absolutely free, so do not worry, but it goes a long way in communicating with YouTube that the content in this video is worthy to be pushed out to more people so go ahead and click the subscribe button and thank you for your contribution and support writing a thesis for an honors degree or a master's degree or a phd involves three levels depth complexity and originality let's consider a topic within sociology of work such as remote work and employee well-being and explore how this topic can be developed and expanded from an honors thesis to a master's thesis and finally into a PhD dissertation, showing how each level increases in depth, complexity and originality. Since an honors thesis is typically shorter and less comprehensive than a master's or a PhD thesis, it often focuses on a specific question or aspect of the field. While original thoughts and analysis are expected, an honest thesis does not necessarily require the creation of new knowledge or original research to the same extent as a PhD dissertation. It often involves applying existing theories and methods to a new problem or data set. A topic of an honest thesis could be impact of remote work on employee job satisfaction, a comparative study. This research could involve a survey-based study comparing job satisfaction amongst employees working remotely versus those in traditional office settings. 
The student might use existing surveys or simple questionnaires to collect data. The purpose could be to understand how remote work affects job satisfaction. This topic is suitable for an honors thesis as it involves applying existing sociological theories and research methods in a specific contemporary issue. It's more about understanding and applying. A master's thesis is more comprehensive than an honors thesis and involves a deeper level of analysis. It often requires a more sophisticated understanding of research methodologies. They should contribute to the field, but this contribution does not have to be as groundbreaking as a PhD dissertation. It involves applying existing knowledge in new ways, providing new interpretation of existing data. A master's topic could be remote work and its effects on work-life balance and employment productivity. Building on the honors thesis, this research could dive deeper into how remote work affects not just job satisfaction, but also work-life balance and productivity. It might involve more detailed survey interviews and possibly some observational studies. Its purpose could be to provide a more nuanced understanding of implications of remote work, contributing to policies and practices in human resource management. This topic requires a deeper understanding of sociological theories and more sophisticated research methodologies and analysis that goes beyond the surface, fitting for a master's level. We have already established that a PhD dissertation is a substantial piece of original research that contributes to new knowledge of a field. It is much more comprehensive and detailed than both the honors and the master's thesis. The key requirement is significant original research. The PhD candidate is expected to create new knowledge, theories, methodologies that advances the field. So then a PhD topic could be Designing Optimal Work Environments, a Sociological Analysis of Remote Work, Organizational Culture, and Employee Wellbeing. This research could significantly expand on the previous studies by possibly involving a comprehensive analysis of different organizational structure and their approaches to remote work. It would require extensive qualitative and quantitative research, including case studies, in-depth interviews, and possibly cross-cultural comparisons. Its purpose could be to create new knowledge about how remote work can be optimally integrated into different organizational cultures, contributing to a broader field of sociology and organizational studies. This topic demands a high level of originality, extensive research, and creation of new theoretical frameworks or models. It's about contributing significant new insights to the sociology of work, which is essential for a PhD dissertation. So lovelies, I hope taking this topic and developing it into the three levels of the three degrees helps you understand and see how it gets more complex with each level and the level of originality and depth of methodology is expected at each level. If this video was helpful to you in any way, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And please comment down below Honours if you want to go up to your honours level, Masters if you want to go up to your Masters level, or PhD if you want to go all the way in this academic journey. Whatever degree you are aiming for, you still need to do well in the current level that you are in first. In my next video, I'm going to tell you about six things that could mean you are failing your degree. So be sure to subscribe to find out what they are and how to avoid them. Now, Click on the video that is appearing on your screen right now because that is the video you should be watching next if you want to boost your grades. I project to you love and grace in a way of 2 Corinthians 13 verse 14.